Welcome to the fourth episode of our audio in Unity series. We will show you how to add fade in and fade out and how to loop an audio clip. Our first ambient sound plays at maximum volume and ends without a fade out. We want to add a fade in and fade out and then loop it. It requires some coding first. After selecting our background music game object, which is an audio source already, we will add a new script named background music by clicking at component then new script. Let's start with grabbing the audio source, then set its volume to zero. Because we want its volume rise in time from zero to maximum, which is one. We will use coroutines and coroutines execute I enumerators to add fade. I will only create one function that can be used for either fade in or fade out by boolean parameter. Other parameters we need are an audio source and a duration value for fading and target volume. As a fade in, coroutine will start instantly. As a fade out, we will wait for the near end of the clip. I will add waiting calculation under these brackets later. We need some internal variables to follow fading process like time and initial volume. We will lerp the value of the volume in that duration which we specified as a parameter. Now if we choose fade out, we should wait for the duration of the clip. To calculate clip's length, use the code at line 18. Then coroutine should wait for that period of time. The code on line 19 is enough to finish that calculation. To activate coroutines, we call start coroutine function and put enumerator function in it. Since we need both fade in and fade out, we can call them with correct parameters. Target volumes are up to you at this point. Fade out should be ended with 0 and fade in should be ended with 1. If you send true as first parameter, it will act like fade in and vice versa. Let's test that script. You can see volume changes highlighted in yellow. Perfect, but it's not looping yet. Let's go back to the script and add some code for that. This condition checks audio sources playing activity and if it stops, plays again with the fade in and out core routines. Also, we put a debug line to see which coroutine works and when they work. Let's test it again. The audio clip starts with a fade in and ends with a fade out, then it loops. Yellow highlighted bar shows us that we have done this correctly. That's it for today. See you in the next video.